it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 27th, 2019. Let's just get into it here. The question that I posed this week was Angels of God's Light, how may we be happy now and what messages? And they say, this is as varied as the individual expressions you have each chosen. When turmoil comes up, bring love. When there is a person in pain, which is often expressed in anger and power struggles, ask for peace in their hearts. You mustn't torture yourselves through fights and struggles and heartache. If for you it was on your learning path, then so let it be. Meaning if you had an experience and that was something that your soul needed to grow from, have some acceptance around that, okay? That is why it was happening. If for you, you resist growth, it is like swimming in rapids. It will take you away. Happiness is attainable, sure. But enlightenment, that is what your soul is asking for. It is asking to remember. With all love, angels of light. So I don't feel like I have to explain it <laughs> so much. Uh, they are giving... Uh, as a reminder that our experiences are imperative to our soul's growth. And that's why a lot of these things are happening for us. But happiness is not going against the grain, not swimming against the current, but allowing yourself to flow with your own existence. Let's get on to the cards. Okay, so let's see what is going on for this week with the cards. Let me just tune in here. Again, I'm using the Magdalene Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. Okay, so the first card out we have is Surrender. Check this out. So... In this card, when we talk about surrender, it doesn't mean give up, right? It doesn't mean just give in, it's over, whatever. But it talks about stop swimming upstream, right? Stop expecting things to look a certain way or judging your success, whether or not, you know, you have, you know, gotten that job or, you know, all that surface level stuff that we talk about a lot. And you do see here too, she's resting, can you, can you tell? I don't know if that'll focus, but she is resting. And this is just saying, quit, quit trying to force things to happen. Uh, stop trying to look a certain way, right? And we try to look a certain way. Maybe you're crash dieting. Yeah, you can take it quite literally if you want to. But this is also about, we've talked about this before, where people try to seem really spiritual and it's an ego pursuit. It's to make themselves look like they are more important than anybody else that they have more uh, knowledge than anybody else. But truly, we are all coming from a soul space that is trying to learn, that is trying to learn through certain experiences. So it doesn't necessarily mean that somebody who has written a bunch of spiritual books is truly more spiritual than somebody who hasn't. I know that's a crazy thing to say. Again, as always, I'm not here for the arguments. Um, I'm not here for people's defensiveness because their ego got bruised, that they feel wrong or whatever. But what I'm saying here is that we're all developing in the way that we are meant to. And that's what we're being asked to understand. We're being asked to surrender to the fact that maybe your existence doesn't involve publishing a book or maybe your existence doesn't um, involve being a famous actress or a musician or whatever, you know, a CEO. Maybe you can learn the most by being a mom or a dad or an auntie, thank you, uh, <laughs> you know, being just involved in life and embracing your experiences. That's what they're asking you to surrender to, okay? All right. Then we have Saint Sinner. This is us beating ourselves up and saying, I didn't make it, or I'm blaming myself, or I'm blaming someone else. How often do we have these fights and struggles with one another because... We don't want to face, we, we don't want to take accountability. That's what it comes down to. We don't want to take accountability. We don't want to face what we have chosen to do. Or maybe we're regretting the, the path that we're on or <laughs> whatever. But this also talks about just having a very um, sort of dichotomous view. It's black or white. It's this or that. It's good or bad. Surrender that idea. 
because everybody who thinks they're sane is also a sinner, okay? And anybody who thinks that they're just a bad person, you're not 100% a bad person, okay? Uh, there is such a thing as making mistakes and learning from them, right? So we, we're being asked to not take such a black or white view of our own existence or just our place in this world or of other people. So there's a message here of judgment and how often we judge one another and how we do that out of fear, right? So if we live our life on the defensive, if we're waiting for someone to constantly prove us wrong and then that's gonna be like some sort of danger if we're proven wrong, then we're going to have this, you know, only one of us can be good, the other one has to automatically be bad and I'm not going down like that, right? And then what do we do? We're at odds. How do you feel when you walk away from an argument? How do you feel when you have a negative interaction with somebody at the grocery store, right? Now compare that to your neighbor waves and says hi to you and says good morning. Such a small thing and yet that could kind of shift where you are, <laughs> right? If you're getting too caught up in planning out your day, that might be very effective to snap you out of it, right? So again, I think the whole thing here is understanding your dual nature, yes? And you're not either or, you're a blend of everything, okay? Next card up we have, this card keeps coming up. It's the matrix, okay? <laughs> so there's a feeling here of sort of uh, changing perspective here and what you really thought was real you're discovering there could be another reality that you could plug into and um i don't know i think conspiracy theorists love to go running away with this and that's all well and good but i'm not with you on that uh you know it's like oh this is fake news there's <laughs> there's all this stuff going on but again if you're surrendering to this existence what i'm saying don't okay don't run away with what i'm saying here okay what i'm saying is that if you don't get caught up in it at all then then you're going to be able to enjoy your life a little bit more you're going to be able to um have an appreciation for the things that are happening i remember i was sitting with some people and they immediately wanted to start talking about politics and they just just immediately came out and said i'm on this side of things Okay, uh, and, and for me, it's not that I'm disconnected from this reality. I see it, I observe it, but I'm not going to engage in it. I'm not going to come, you know, flying in and being like, no, just because you don't like the same person I do, that, therefore that makes you a sinner. That makes you against me and now we are at war. Ugh. We got to be done with that, okay? It is done. There is a new kind of way coming about. Again, I don't know that it's entirely perfect. Of course not. Um, but <laughs> watch where you're really getting yourself engaged in this black or white thinking. You're either with me or against me. This also comes back to a message too of how often we allow ourselves because of our need to feel like we are a part of a tribe, that we are connected to someone or something, we'll just go in, take the pamphlet, study it and go, okay, I'm one of you now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not going to help you either. Now that's not to say that you're not going to have an opinion about something. You guys know, uh, I'm built for sass. I kind of am. I don't mean to ever be hurtful with it, but <laughs> it just sort of comes out. And yes, I do have strong opinions about things, but if someone is, um, expressing their opinion in a, you know, just sort of like, well, this is how I see it. I have a lot of respect for that. When I don't have respect for it is when they're coming at me defensively and trying to diminish my opinion because they don't agree with me. So we really want to start maybe observing that and see if for you, if maybe you're the one doing that, if you're so afraid of not being heard that you feel like you need to yell your opinion, you know, all those kinds of things. So maybe that's a good journaling topic for us this week. Where can I improve in connecting with others? Do I have a fear of being wrong? Okay. And if I am wrong, what does that mean? What will happen? What's the worst that could happen if I'm wrong? <laughs> okay. And then we have perception. There you go. Everyone's going to have a perception and there's no point in arguing back and forth. You can have your opinion, state it, you know, in the way that is healthy and then move on. All right. But this kind of goes hand in hand with this uh, matrix card here. 
our perceptions are changing, which is good news. It means that we are growing. And uh, yeah, I just heard it's never going to be the same. It's never going to be the same. So in some sense, yes, it could be us not being as shocked by things. Um, but there's this other feeling here of understanding potentials. Things that we thought that were incurable, we realize that's not the case. Or uh, something that you thought you would never heal through, you understand that's not the case. And then it comes back out and you start having a different perception. And now because of that different perception, what happens to your energy? It shifts. And that's you going into another reality, <laughs> right? And now people that, the kind of people that you attract in might be different or the kinds of experiences that you have will be different or at least your perception of it will be different. So no needless suffering. Uh, you know, a very simple example would be if, um, if somebody cut you off in traffic, you might have previously would have, you know, lost your temper and it would have ruined your day because someone did that to you. In this space, we're changing it. You, you still see that that happened and you might still have a moment of, er, you know, why did that just, why did that person just do that? But then you flow back into your own existence. You're in your own peace and grace, right? So let's get the color card. Let's see what else is happening here. do it right there let's see what we have we have indigo <laughs> improve your vision the number is 40 which is amazing because it goes with this card so again guys you are coming into your higher consciousness you're at least seeing how you can access it how you can come in and uh, see things from that place now the difference here though is that you're not playing here let me get this other card you're not playing this game over here okay where you're using your higher consciousness to try to have some diminishing power over somebody like I'm, I'm special because I do this, this, and this on this day of the week, you know, it, well, no, I ain't doing that. This is understanding your own true nature, understanding the nature of other people, um, and following your intuition a little bit more because we don't do that a whole lot. We really don't. If we feel like, you know, everybody else likes this person, so there, this person must be good, but you don't have, but you don't have such a nice feeling about them. Trust that, okay? It could just be, it's not that that person is a saint or a sinner. It's just that they're not right for your path or, you know, you might have your own distortion with that person. Whatever the case may be, apply your intuition, okay? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.